I tell you good morning to the class. Amen. We have another fine lesson. Amen. Our lesson today is lesson nine, date August 1st, 2021. Unit two, faith and salvation. Amen. And our subject is seeking confidence. Amen. Our printed passage is Romans 10, 5 through 17. Amen. We have a very good lesson. Amen. Uh, let us pray. Father in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for just blessing us and enabling us to come together again. We thank you for the word of God. We thank you for your saving power, Lord. We give you honor and praise, Lord. We have to give you the glory because you're the only one that can, can save us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for just everything providing for us uh, throughout this week and throughout our lives, Lord. We ask you to continue blessing our pastor, Lord. Bless all of our members that are going through sickness and different situations, Lord. We ask you just to have mercy upon them, Lord. We thank you. We give you honor and glory and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'd like to say give it on to God, to our pastor and his wife, and to our deacons and trustees, and all of my father's children. Amen. All of our ministers also. And to Brother Nehemiah and his wife, we like to thank God for them too. Amen. Our superintendent. Amen. We have a very good lesson. Amen. Uh, uh, dealing with confidence. Amen. We should have confidence that we are saved. We should know that we're saved. Amen. As I pointed out um, uh, in, in past lessons, amen, that uh, we're saved, amen. Last year, before the pandemic came, we were saved. If we believed on the name of Jesus, we were saved. We were saved during the pandemic, and we're saved now, amen. That once you once you uh, acknowledge Christ, you give your life to the Lord, and you do His will, amen. Uh, uh, you do according to His will, amen. We are saved. We are the believers, amen. And this lesson is going to point that out today, amen. So, um, we don't have to be uh, sketchy or skeptical about whether uh, uh, we're saved or not. Amen? Uh, our first part of our lesson says, For Moses described, uh, this is Romans 10 and 5, For Moses describeth the, describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. Amen. And Moses, uh, when the law was given to the children of Israel, amen, it was uh, the law was the Ten Commandments, amen. And then it had all the ordinances to go along with it, amen, that they had to follow certain things, they had to do certain things uh, in order to be, um, you know, uh, in right standing with God, amen. But we have a, 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 a new covenant now, amen, and that's covenant... That we have in the uh, with the New Testament, which is uh, uh, through faith, Amen, in Jesus Christ. Let's go to uh, Hebrews, the ninth chapter, Amen, uh, in the sixth verse. Let's start the sixth verse. First part of this uh, one through five tell us about the different parts of the tabernacle and then how all the things that were set up in the tabernacle. That, that God had had Moses to set up in order to uh, represent uh, the things today, amen, which is the things today is, is Christ represented, really represent Christ and the Holy Ghost, amen. So these things, amen, were set up as a representation of uh, what was to come, amen. Let's just read a little bit. Let's go from the uh, sixth verse says, now, when these things were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. Amen. Uh, at that time, the priests uh, had to uh, go in. God was only dealing with certain people. Amen. Uh, now, we all have access to the Lord. Amen. Uh, in the Old Testament, there's only cer certain people that God... Uh, 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 send messages through and, and contacted to tell the people, amen, to talk to his people. But now we have a personal, personal, you hear that? Personal relationship with the Lord. Now, 7 verse says, but 
into the second with the high priest alone once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. So you had the priest offering up, offering up or, or uh, making the atonement for the the sins of 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 the is of Israel, Amen. Or the people of Israel, Amen. So, but now we can repent for ourselves. We can we can we can ask forgiveness. We can ask the Lord to forgive us for ourselves. We don't have to go to anybody and say, Well, uh, could you ask the Lord forgiveness for me? Even though God give us power, He give us power and authority to forgive sins, Amen. So. But we can do it on our own also. Amen. So, amen. But into the second tabernacle, the high priest went along once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. The Holy Ghost, this signifying, you hear that? That the way into holiness of all was not yet made manifest. So it wasn't complete. Amen. Because you had somebody else doing it for him. For, for us, amen, for those people at that time, amen, but this was an example, uh, and now we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us, amen, who make intercessions for us, amen, even when we pray, amen, the Lord, the Spirit, uh, the Holy Ghost make intercession for us, amen, so, and it helps helps us in, in in our infirmities, our weaknesses, the things that cause us to walk contrary to the word of God. The Holy Spirit help us, Amen, and guide us into what uh, Christ uh, into God's righteous path, Amen, Amen. So the Holy Ghost is signifying that the way of holiness of uh, of all was not yet made manifest, while as the first tabernacle was yet standing, Amen. So. That had to be uh, uh, moved out of the way so Jesus could step in, uh, uh, come on the scene. Amen. To show us a better way. Amen. Which was a figure for the time then present. It was good. It was good for the time present. For then. For that time. In which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect. Amen. Now. What we have now can make us perfect. Amen. Amen. The, the Holy Spirit can guide us into all righteousness. Guide us into everything that we need to do. Everything we need to follow in order to be saved. Amen. As pertaining. Now I say this per perfect. As pertaining to the conscience. That means they were always thinking about oh man did I did I break the law did I break the law did I break the law amen so they were always uh, 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 wondering amen now we stood only in meats and drinks and divers washing and corner ordinance imposed on them until the time of re reformation reformation but Christ being come and high priest of what good things good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say not of this building not of the, the, the you know sent 3858 west floor so, amen it was a temple the temple of christ amen his body amen that was the temple amen that was the temple amen that christ uh he, he was a living sacrifice within his temple. Amen. He came here, came here, and he lived the life. Amen. He he set us free. Amen. He was the chief example of being godly. Amen. Amen. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having what obtained eternal uh, redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and goats and ashes of, of, of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifies to the purifying of the flesh, how, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from what? Dead works to serve 
the living God. Amen. There became that there's a closest, there's a relationship. The people in the old old testament didn't have that relationship like we have today. Amen. We have a personal relation relationship with God. We can talk to the Lord anytime we want. Anytime. Amen. It was just only certain times that, that they had to do these do these things, sacrifice. They did at certain times. Amen. But we can access the Lord 24-7, 365 days of the year. Amen. So we have access to the Lord. Amen. So and for this cause he is the mediator of the what? New Testament. By uh, that, by means of death, for the redemption of, of the transgression that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of what eternal inheritance. That means we are all inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. We'll be with Christ. Amen. We'll be we'll become the sons and daughters of God. Amen. For well, where a testament is, there must also be necessity be a uh, necessity be the death of the tester. For a testament is of of force after men are dead. Otherwise it is of no strength at all while the tester liveth. Amen. So Jesus had to finish. He had to come here and he had to finish. Listen. It wouldn't have been the testament. This would there would be no New Testament if Jesus wouldn't have finished. If Jesus would have quit at any time, if Jesus would have sinned at any time, it would have been over. Amen. There would be no more us. We would have never came on the scene. Amen. So therefore, Amen. It, it, uh, he remember uh, when Jesus rose, the, the word of God said he rose with all power, all power. Amen was delivered unto him because he did what? He did the will of God. And he came and, and accomplished his mission. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, wherefore, um, uh, where uh, 18 verse says, whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood for when Moses uh, had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law. Amen. The law. The law. Ten Commandments and all those ordinances. Amen. Called according to the law. He took the blood of calves and goats uh, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people. Amen. So, that was just like sprinkling the people, just putting it on them. But we have the blood the blood of Jesus on the inside. We, Jesus is on the inside of us. Amen. The Lord lives in us. Amen. Praise God. And they were, and Moses sprinkled the blood on them. But now we have the Lord living inside of every saint, every child of God that has confessed Christ and believed in the Lord Jesus. Amen. The, the Lord lives inside of them. Amen. Amen. Saying, this is the blood of the testament which God has enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and the vessels of the ministry. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. It was therefore necessary that the patterns of the things in the heavens should be purified with these. But the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. Amen. For Christ is, is not entered into the holy place made with hands. You hear that? Not in a, amen, not in a building, not in a physical building. Amen. Amen. Which are the figures of the true, but into what? Heaven itself. And we're going to see that in, in, in our lesson in a few minutes. Amen. Now to appear in the presence of God for us. Amen. He did it one time. He Listen. Nor yet that he should offer himself often as the high priest enters into the holy place every year with blood of, with the blood of others. Listen. He only had to do it one time. That's it. Jesus is not coming back down to this earth. He's not going to come back down here and die again. Amen. He's not going to rise again. He's already risen. He has finished his work. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now once in the end of the world has he appeared to put away what? Sin by the sacrifice 
of himself. Let's go back. Oh, praise God. Let's go back to the lesson. Oh, this is so good. Listen, listen what it said. So, Moses, the fifth verse of our lesson, Romans 10 and 5, said, For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which does those things should live by them. So, we, we just read that in Hebrews. That's what, those are the things that they were living by. Amen. They live by sacrifices and the priest going in and, and, and uh, 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 making sacrifices for the sins of the people and himself. Amen. Now, the sixth verse says, listen, but the righteousness which is of faith speak, speaking on this way, say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven. Amen. Jesus all, has already ascended into heaven. Amen. He's already there. So, Jesus don't have to come back down. Amen. He don't, he don't have to do it again. Amen. Uh, we already, the word is, uh, it, it, the word is already coming to us uh, 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 by the way of the Holy Spirit. The, the Lord is teaching us right now. He's teaching us. Amen. Every good and perfect gift comes from what? Above. So the Lord has given us uh, uh, the answers. He's given us the word and it's coming straight. Straight from heaven. Amen. Praise God. Remember when Jesus told told, told his disciples, he, uh, uh, told the people, he said, I come to do the will of my Father who sent me. Amen. And the words, he said, the words I speak, that's what my Father told me to speak. Amen. I speak what the Father tell me to speak. Amen. So, who shall stand in, in the heaven, which is to be Christ, down from above? Jesus did it already. So, don't, don't even go there. Amen. And or who shall descend into the deep? That is what? To bring up Christ again. So he had to go back into the grave and be be uh, raised again. No, it's done. It, remember what Jesus said on the, far, uh, on the cross? He said, tis finished. You hear that? Tis finished. That means it was done. Amen. The Lord has accomplished his mission. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But what says it? The word is not thee. What do we have to, all we have to do is say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. That's what we need to say. We need to say, repent. When someone don't know Christ, well, what we say, listen, what we say, the word is not thee. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is close. It's right at you. Amen. Even in thy mouth, See, all you have to do is that close, and all you have to do is confess it and believe in your heart. Amen? And in thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. All you have to do is have faith in the Lord and believe that the Lord will save you. And guess what? He will save you. Listen, that if thou confess with thy mouth, that's how close it is. Hello. We don't have to sit around wondering, oh, am I going to heaven? Am I going to hell? Listen, if you truly believe in the Lord and you make confession to the Lord, you're saved. Amen. You're not saved because you, you, you don't steal. You don't do this. You say, well, if I don't steal, I'm going to be saved. I'm going I'm to be a Christian because I don't steal. Listen. You don't steal because of the spirit that is in you that is keeping you and teaching you that thou shalt not steal. Amen. It is what keep you from stealing. Amen. The, the reason the, the Jews could not keep the commandments. Remember the, the rich young ruler. He said, I kept all the commandments as from my youth. Amen. So, but the, what did God tell him? You lack one thing. We always going to be lacking. If we try to live by just by by uh, 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 um, uh, just uh, by works, Amen. If we try to live by works, we're we're when the Lord accepts us, when He brings us into His fold, we become a part of Him. And guess what? We're led by the Spirit. Then the Spirit will guide us into what all righteousness, Amen. So we won't steal because the Holy Spirit will teach us. Say, listen, don't do that. Amen. The, the Holy Spirit is more, not you, but the Holy Spirit teach you. You're led by the Spirit. So the Spirit is not going to lead you to do anything wrong. He, the, Spirit, the Spirit of God is not going to lead you to do things contrary to the Word of God. Amen. So, if you confess with your mouth and believe, uh, uh, 
the Lord Jesus and, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You hear that? It say whether you steal, whether you uh, don't steal or whether you uh, don't lie or whether you uh, don't commit adultery, you'll be saved. Or, amen. It said believe on the name of Jesus because the Lord know once you receive the Holy Spirit, he give you power to overcome this world. Amen. That's how we're able to overcome because we have Jesus in on the, on the inside. This was the spirit of Jesus sent back to us for comfort. Amen. Now that's why we won't be ashamed because guess what? We have the Lord living inside of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ugh, thank you, Jesus. For with the heart man believeth unto what? Righteousness. Amen. You believe, but you believe unto righteousness. Amen. And most people say, well, I'll do a righteous thing. I'll go out and do this and do that. No, you will do it because you are just like Christ. These are the things that Christ did because and because Christ is living on the inside, you will be able to do those things. Amen. Amen. It won't be because you want to do them. It's because you do it on behalf of Christ. Amen. We're led by the Spirit, not by our own works. Amen. Praise God. Amen. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That means you just confess the Lord. Amen. We used to sing a song. If you confess the Lord, call him up. Amen. Call him up and tell him what you want. Amen. But we need to call him up and ask what can we do for him? Amen. What can we do for him? So, what I'm saying is, what I'm trying to say is, we're not saved by works. We're saved to do good works. We will do those good works. We'll keep God's commandments because the Lord lives inside of us. We can't keep them on our own. And that was the problem in the Old Testament with the Jews and the, and the people in the Old Test Testament because they could not keep them. They could, they they tried, they tried and tried, but they could not do it. Amen. That rich, think about that rich young ruler. He said, I kept them all. I did everything. But you see that he did not. But with we can do all things through who? Christ who strengthened us. Did you hear that? Through Christ who strengthened us. Amen. So if Christ is strengthening us, we're able to overcome, amen, all the wiles of the devil. Everything the devil throw at us, we'll be able to overcome. How was Jesus able to, when after he fasted and the devil was tempting him, how was he able to be able to overcome? Because the God was living on the inside. This was God in the flesh. Amen. And he was able to resist the devil. Amen. Coming, uh, 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 uh. Resist the devil tempting him. And guess what? With Christ on the inside, that same, the, the, with the Holy Ghost on the inside, it's the same thing. It's just like Jesus being on the inside. And then when, when the devil tried to tempt us, then the Holy Spirit will come in, amen, and say, and give us the word. And then we'll have the, the word to say, uh, amen. Man does not live by bread alone. Amen. Thou shalt not tempt me. Amen. I'm a child of God. Amen. I'm not the son of God, but I'm a, I'm a child of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, uh, for the scripture says, whosoever believes on him shall not be, what? Ashamed. Guess what? He take the shame away. God remove all that shame. Amen. If it's, we did some shameful things in our lives. Amen. We've done some stuff that 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 you probably couldn't even put on on TV or on the movie because it's so bad. Amen. But this look what the Lord did. He took the shame away. Amen. He said, I'm going to take your sins. I'm going to throw them in the sea of forgiveness and remember them no more. Amen. You hear that? No more. You, listen, we came. Look, you can't make make this up. You can't make it make it up or uh, try to make it up amen sometimes we think we have to we have to make it up it's just like a, a example is a person um they might not have paid their tithes ever or maybe you know a few times amen but they how much do you owe the lord 
you may owe the Lord a million dollars, and then you ain't, you don't have a million dollars to pay the Lord to give him to make up for that. Amen. So it's just like sin. We might have been sinning for years and years and years. How are you going to make that up? Amen. You can't make it up. That's why the Lord said, I, I'm going to give you grace. Amen. I'm going to accept you right where you are, but but guess what? I'm going to change you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put my spirit in you, and then you're going to be a new creature. Amen. You can't make it up, but you can start over again. Amen. That's why the Lord tells us we, we must be born again. So when we born and born again, you're just like a new baby. Amen. A baby, when a baby come into the world, they're a blank. Amen. They they don't they amen. They they can be uh 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 African American, they can be uh Asian, amen, until you give them the words. Amen. Their language. Amen. <laughs> they can speak any language. Amen. W amen. Praise God. When they come in the world, they can be taught to speak any language. Amen. They can speak German. They can speak Russian. They can speak uh, 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 Latin. They can speak any language. Uh, a child can be taught to speak. Amen. So therefore, if we give ourselves to the Lord and we become new creatures, then the Lord will teach us how to speak his language. Amen. What is his language? The word of God. Amen. We'll th speak things that he spoke. Amen. We'll do things he did. Amen. We'll walk in his footsteps. Oh, praise God. So you won't be ashamed. Amen. The stuff we did Man, amen. You won't be ashamed. Praise God. How can you go back and tell people that the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life? Because what? Guess what? The Lord has forgiven us. Amen. So whosoever believes on him should not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over uh, Lord over all is rich unto what? All that call upon him. That means he's not going to be separate. It won't be no separatism in it. You hear that? No separatism. Amen. So he going to bless you just as much as he blessed me. For whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ain't talking about just saying when you stomp your toe and say, Jesus, Jesus, oh, oh, Jesus. No, I'm talking about calling on the Lord. Your, your, the Lord will be your main help. That's a, your, your, your number one. Amen. Your number one, that's what the Lord will be in your life. Amen. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? So you got to believe. And how shall they believe on him of whom they have not heard? So you got to hear. And how shall they hear without a preacher? You need to hear the preacher. You, some people, we was talking out of the night in Bible study. Some people go to sleep. How are you going to hear the preacher in your sleep? Amen. They be sleep right in service. As written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring what good tide, uh, bring glad tidings of good things. That's what the word, is. whether it's chastising you or just just lifting you up, it's all good. Amen. All he do all things all uh, work together. All things work together for. Uh, for the good of them that are in Christ Jesus. Everything is, all of it is good. Amen. But they have not obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? Do you believe it? <laughs> so then faith comes by hearing and hearing, amen, by the word of God. So what? The, how, how do we have faith? How do we get faith? Faith coming coming by hearing the word of God. How can you hear the word of God? All you got to do is just pick this Bible up and read it. Read it to yourself. Amen. And you can read and you can hear your voice speaking and reading to yourself. Amen. And it's speaking directly to us. Amen. I thank God for your listening ear. Amen. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. And I like to say to you today, be blessed.